Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited to tell you that it is time for my new curriculum to launch. So this video is going to show you all of the things and explain that curriculum to you. Okay guys, welcome back. I'm Laura with Down Home with Lemon Pie and yay, it is launch day and I am sharing my curriculum with you. This is going to be a video where you get to see the behind the scenes of this curriculum, what it looks like on the inside. It is a full curriculum for character development and um, it also includes historical and missionary heroes that your children will learn and, um, and get to combine those character traits with missionaries and heroes that they can truly look up to. And it also has um, some nature aspects to it. Let me just get started and show it to you because it'll make a lot more sense. Okay, guys, you will have to excuse me. This is the right off of my computer screen, which is how you are going to see it when you download it. If you want to get it printed out and spiral bound, I have some suggestions on where you can do that. Um, I'll put them in the description of this. So this is the cover page. Guys, I'm so excited. It's Heroes of Character. This is the teacher manual. And you can see right there, it has God's word, real heroes from history, God's creation in nature, and more. Let me show you what's next. There's the copyright page. Okay, the table of contents. So there are 12 units. Each unit has the character trait here, which is the first one is obedience. And then the hero for that one is Hudson Taylor. And the nature aspect is the grizzly bear. And then you go to the second one, which is diligence. We have Alexander Graham Bell and the woodcock. Patience, William Tyndale, bristlecone pine tree. You can see kind of the way it goes. Those are the first six. And here's the second six right there. Um, in the teacher manual, which is what this one is, at the end I have copy work pages, which have two pages for each unit. So one page is the Bible verse and one page is the definition, and I will show you those. And then I have character drawing pages right there, and I will show you those, but those can be used while you're reading about the um, hero or about the nature. You can use those. And the coloring pages. And then I have the character posters which you can hang up around your house or like on your fridge or in your homeschool room whatever and just as like a visual reminder of the trait that you're working on that month or that week or whatever okay so this is the first 12 so this would cover you could do one a month like for the whole year or you could do one for every three weeks which would carry you for like a school year okay here i just kind of explain what i just told you before and same thing here. This tells you exactly all the same things that I just explained to you. And then this is your first lesson page. So you would read the character trait right here. Sorry about that. And then you'll review the definition right there with your children and the verse. And then give them the um, hero's story. They're kind of short. I did that on purpose to, um, you know, so you don't have too much time. And also so that you're, you can hold your children's attention span. This is meant for ages kinder. You could probably even do preschool um, all the way up to sixth grade. So you can do this together as a family. Um, and there's the picture of the hero. And then the next, so you would do that the first week. The second week you would review again the trait, the definition, and the verse. And then you could do the grizzly bear, like the nature application. Um, here's an activity that you can do with your children or with your family. Each one has either one or sometimes two um, activities that you can do. Just pick a day and work on those or a couple days. And then I have a library book list where I've listed a bunch of books that show that character trait in action so that you can continue that study with your children. Um, some of these you might wanna do on the off weeks, like if you're doing these for a whole month, you could do like one week, you could do one week the hero, and then the next week a picture book, like at a tea time or something, and then, or morning time, whatever. And then you could do the nature application and then another picture book. Um, but I gave you too many picture books on purpose so that you can do as many as you want or as few as you want, and you can do them at bedtime or whatever. And then we go to the second one, which is diligence. And same thing, we've got our definition, our verse, 
and our hero, all about him and how he exhibited dil diligence in his life. The woodcock, how the woodcock is diligent in his life. Um, a couple activities where you can, um, like object lessons, where you can explain and show that skill and then some books to go with it. And this continues on, guys, for all of these. So I'm going to kind of skip ahead a little bit. You can see I've got Abraham Lincoln, the bald eagle, all these classic heroes. And there's Abigail Adams. And then the animals, of course, are the nature aspects that you're going to be learning about. Okay, so let's get down here. We've got elephant and we'll kind of skip ahead all the way down to 12. The last one we have Billy Graham and the Quokka. Oh, this one actually has three activities and then there's the picture books there. Okay, so now we're to the copy work pages, guys. These are where your children can write the definition or the Bible verse, whichever one. So it's listed right here for them to copy on these lines. Some of them have like a bigger Bible verse. So I highlighted in uh, bold the part that you would want them to practice if it's like a young child. For example, here's one on attentive. Th this might be too much for your young child to copy. So just the bold part gets the point across. Okay, so let's skip ahead. These are their drawing pages. This is where they can draw a picture of either the hero that you're reading about, or they can draw a picture of themselves showing what it looks like to be obedient or what it looks like to be diligent. And they can do this either in like a quiet time or while you're reading, okay? And then I have all the way down here, the nature pages. These are the same pictures from above but with the definition right there included for you with the pictures. And so we have all of those. And let me get all the way guys to the very end. The character posters, these are so beautiful and you can laminate these or um, whatever you wanna do, but you can hang them up around your home, in your child's room, in your homeschool room, in your um kitchen, wherever it is that you'll be able to view them and review them together so that it's like a visual, beautiful visual reminder for you guys. Okay, so that is the teacher's handbook. I also have to show you guys the student workbook. Okay, guys, this is the student workbook for Heroes of Character, Volume 1. Okay, again, we have God's Word, Real Heroes from History, God's Creation in Nature, and more. This, These are all the same pictures and activity pages that you have from the teacher manual, but they can be separately bound so that your child actually has their own workbook. Okay, they're in the same order, but instead of before... They were like all the copywork pages were together, all the character drawing pages were together, and all the nature coloring pages are, were together in the teacher manual. In this one, I have them done by unit. So there's the unit one, obedience. There is the copywork page for the definition of obedience, the Bible verse for obedience, the drawing page for obedience, and the nature coloring page for obedience. And then you go on to unit two. So this will help your child to stay Stay with you. They have their own little book. And they can do it with you as you go through. Um, and this goes all the way down. This is 67, whoops, 67 pages, guys, to learn these traits. So that is it. That is the whole thing. And um, I just want to thank you guys for watching. I am so excited to share this with you. And you can get it now on my website, Down Home with Lemon Pie. Thanks, guys.